I miss the desert. I miss the sea. Those days have come and gone. Perhaps not. I don't believe in magic, but a few times in my life, I've seen things, things I can't explain. And I've come to believe it's not so much what you believe, it's how hard you believe it. Brand. The first thing that struck me about this trailer was the amount of CGI I was seeing. The bit in the parade when he was on the horse. The chase scene in the Middle Eastern looking marketplace. When they were on top of the train. But a few times. And before you say it, I don't care that much about the de-aging. Yes, I acknowledge the craftsmanship, but that's not what makes a compelling story. If they needed to do that much CGI, why not just craft a story that didn't require Harrison Ford to take center stage? He's an old man now, 80 I believe. I don't care how well you've taken care of yourself, which he has, but you're not gonna convince me that he's still capable of doing the things I saw in that trailer. I know it's a stunt man, and Ford's face has been CGI'd in. I'm just glad I wasn't on set to see the kind of physical work they were trying to get him to do. I'd have been like, How could you do that to an old man? I mean, even in the poster, his face is covered in shadow. What, are you trying to hide something? It reminds me of Michael Jackson when he did the music video, You Rock My World. Now, if they wanted to run with the nostalgia bait, they could have used a template from The Last Crusade and have Indy go on one last adventure with his son. You know, sharing your adventures is an interesting experience. <laughs> you could insert the motif of poking fun of the fact that Indy has gotten older. This is intolerable! And played up the grumpy old man who thinks he's still got it. I want my family back. Okay. Give me back my family. Get off me! I want my family back. Next to the more athletic, younger guy who has the luck of the devil, as they say. I didn't know you could fly a plane. Why, yes! Land, go! You call this archaeology? <laughs> now, that would have been hilarious. Now, it looks like they've done that but they've paired Ford's masculine energy next to feminine energy. And we all know what's gonna happen here. She's gonna be the boss babe. She's gonna be better than him at everything. He's her sidekick. She'll be spouting snidey little comments, undermining him. Who is this man? I'm He's her godfather. Related. Now, I've always wondered, if the studio treated Indiana Jones like a Bond-type character, that meaning a different actor could play him every time. Not only could they go on with the series forever, they wouldn't have the problem of worrying about the actor getting too old. I've always seen Indiana Jones as the James Bond of the archeology span world. Okay, so what else? Oh yeah, <laughs> there's more Nazis. Really? I love how there were no other murderous regimes in the 20th century. And of course you got your activist plug, Anyway, it is what it is. This kind of stuff will continue, and I wouldn't hold my breath in anticipation of any kind of change in the right direction. If you're a creator, start creating. When should you get started? Yesterday. Don't forget to check out my experimental screenplay linked below. Just click the link, download, and start reading. If you did get any value from this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.